Hey guys, what's up? It's Howard from App Make here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your first ever iPhone app. Now what you're going to want to do is download Xcode either from the developer portal or App Store and click Create New Project. After that, it'll load up a window and you're going to want to hit Single View Application, then hit Next. Now you're going to want to um, put in the name of your application right in here, and I'm just calling this one the first iPhone app because that's what it's going to be. And uh, then what you're going to do is make sure you have your developer uh, company identifier in and make sure that the class prefix stays the same, device family iPhone, use storyboards, use automatic referencing, but do not include unit tests. So then you're going to um, be able to save it wherever you would like to save it and click create. Now once we're into Xcode, you're going to see that there's a bunch of different stuff on the side. And today's tutorial is just going to be without coding, so we're just going to show you all the basics of how to make your first iPhone app. So now you're going to want to deselect landscapes, like I just did, and you're going to now be able to um, create your icons. Now, you're, for your icons, you're going to have to have Retina and Regular. So you're going to want to create .png files, and for the regular one, you've got to make a 57 by 57 PNG file called icon, capital I C O N dot PNG. And for the uh, retina one, you got to make it capital I C O N at 2x dot PNG. And that one is going to be 114 by 114. Now remember, guys, all the specs and stuff is going to be in the description. So you can read that afterwards if you um, get a little lost along the way. Uh, that's, of course, okay. So now what you're going to want to do is download the. Um, startup image which is going to be default capital D fault um, dot PNG which is going to be 360 by 480 and the first one's just going to be called default dot PNG and the second one's going to be default at 2x dot PNG now you're gonna make leave all the other stuff make sure the devices is still iPhone now you're gonna load up um, storyboard dot storyboard or main storyboard dot storyboard and you're gonna add another view controller and what this will do is add an additional page to your app now here's where you're going to be able to um, add different objects without having to code. You're going to go around here and you're going to select the title object and you're just going to title this however much you want. Uh, I just call it first window and add the same object to the next one. Remember if you don't have the objects menu here you just go through until you find objects on the lower right hand side and you'll be able to add them. So I just named the two windows now adding in a lower bar object. Now the lower bar object will let you be able to navigate back and forth. It comes built in with one button, and if you want more buttons, there's also another object to put an additional button in as well. Uh, I'm just going to label these buttons by double-clicking and then typing in whatever I want to label it. All right, so now what we're going to be able to do is uh, add in some text or... Um, uh, you know pretty much whatever content you wanted to add in now I'm gonna be having more tutorials on different types of content, but this is just gonna be text for today So you're just gonna be able to it has standard text Which really doesn't make any sense in here and you're just going to put in whatever text you want there So I just wrote uh, your text here and the next one I drag it in and I do your text here too now there are some things that you're gonna want to change about these text boxes and I'm just going to show you this right now. You're going to, um, in the text box itself, deselect editable behavior and deselect um, show uh, scrollers for the three different scroller icons. Uh, that way, it's not going to be scrolling up and down uh, with your text that's just like one line long. Now, you're going to left right click and drag from that button over to the other second window and click modal. And you're going to do the same thing left click and drag. And you're going to select a modal. And for this one, we're actually going to want to have this one be cross dissolve. Now, once that's done, you're pretty much ready to go and test this app out. Now, you're going to make sure that it's running in the iPhone 5.0 simulator. You're going to hit run. And it's going to take a little second to process this. Remember, guys, you can always rewind this tutorial. Follow along in the description as well. And if you have a question, leave a comment. And I prefer questions on this specific tutorial not questions on different parts of Xcode because those tutorials will be coming on later. Now you're going to open up the iOS simulator and this will actually take a little second to load but uh, once this is done loading you'll be able to see your app. Now you are going to have to allow the Xcode simulator to run um, so in a second right when this loads you're going to have to type in your um, 
your uh, lion password or whatever and uh, that'll allow it to be able to uh, load the debugger and without that your app won't be able to load on the device itself so you're just going to type that in and you're going to hit continue and now you're going to be able to see your app now it's going to load up the first storyboard if you see if you hit next page it'll dissolve right into the next window and if you hit back it will pop up with the first window so that's definitely really cool um, there's definitely a lot of different things you can do with this. This is a two-page application, and it looks like a legit professional application. You did this in just five minutes. All right, you can see the icons here. Um, when you click on it, it loads up with the loading screen. Now, that'll take a little longer in the actual iPhone app itself. And, uh, yeah, and this acts as a standard iPhone, um, and it's that's pretty cool. Now, if you were to do this with the iPad one as well, it'll do pretty much the same thing except to be in an iPad. Now you can quit the simulator, turn off the simulator. It'll run the debugger, but since there's no code in this, there's nothing really to debug, just the fact that it all worked perfectly because this isn't really um, anything with any code in it. When we start to get into that kind of tutorial, I'll teach you guys a little more about the debugger itself. But right now, um, uh, yeah, it's just the storyboards. Now one of the main things you gotta check in here is make sure that uh, under the summary, where it says main storyboard, you gotta have main storyboard there. Otherwise, when your app loads up, it's not gonna load up with the storyboard. It's gonna load up with some other delegate or um, view controller, and we don't want that. We wanna start it up right up with the uh, storyboard. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.